what we're gonna have to do on your hair to make it look its best, okay? We're gonna be lightening your base a little bit, one to two shades. We're gonna put highlights all around your face so you could get that light effect, but because your hair is already processed, because your hair has a lot of brass right now, we don't wanna do too much bleaching, so we're gonna do heavy, heavy around the face so you could look at yourself and go, wow, look at me, I'm blonde, okay? all blonde all through here we're going to softly blend it back and then while it's processing the bleach we're going to lighten up some of the ends and then afterwards i'm going to choose the best color for your skin tone are you okay with that yes. perfect so i'm securing myself i'm securing myself i'm not promising anything i'm not saying hey you're going to be platinum today you know base breaking that's like every time I do color, base breaking, I don't like to lighten the roots more than two to three shades ever, even if they're a blonde. Um, highlights, you achieve that really light root. Um, my reason for doing that, because I don't like the client to come back and they have a disconnection, super disconnected. After two months, let's say they haven't seen you, they go get a blow dry, the blow dry girl says, who does your hair? Why is it so disconnected? That's already a turn off for them to want to come back. It, make it smooth. You know? Mm -hmm. That'll like give us that guaranteed like softer look instead of it being harsh. Go over it again one more time. Make sure you don't see any parts sticking out. Take another piece of foil. We got brown here on this side, for the blonde and the brown. Okay, so put it. You pulled out the brown out of there, or the blonde? Mm-hmm. You just let the brown go back over there. Don't you never it. foil those big blonde pieces that are already too light. We're gonna break them. All right. Now I'm gonna start weaving finer as we get to the front. Because what I don't want to be seeing is thick chunks anywhere on top, you know? So it depends on how the hair is falling. So I'm just going to do little fine weaves with 10 volume. See how fine those are? Mm -hmm. These are going to process really quick. Oh, another thing that this, the way I'm foiling prevents any kind of like um, bleeding because when you overpack ble uh, bleach inside foil it bleeds mm -hmm. so you want to give that hair enough room to expand to do its thing you know it's always going to try to come out of that foil so if you give it enough room it's not going to leak so you watch out like the bottom doesn't lift right. that nape area always lifts right sides they're okay so you kind of get there they're they're quicker than the bottom part so we just right. get a little bit and then on top we use mostly 10 so whatever now we we're doing with this heat it's gonna do it evenly what? I might want to expose some of you little highlights up there I'm just gonna go over it I'm gonna just put some lightener see right quick comes back out we want it to pop. We want golden, but not like brassy. Uh, bleach inside foil, it bleeds. Mm -hmm. So you want to give that hair enough room to expand, to do its thing. You know, it's always going to try to come out of that foil. So if you give it enough room, it's not going to leak. So you watch out. Like, the bottom doesn't lift. Right. That nape area always lifts. Mm -hmm sides they're okay so you kind of get there they're they're quicker than the bottom part so we just right. get a little bit and then on top we use mostly 10 so whatever now we we're doing with this heat it's gonna do it evenly what? I might want to expose some of you little highlights up there I'm just gonna go over it I'm gonna just put some lightener see right quick comes back out we want it to pop. We want golden, but not like brassy. So I literally came up with this like toner that you put it on, but you leave it on for five minutes. 